that you were authorized to do more than that. And I'd be out there, and I'm, you know, a lot of people feel embarrassed. You know, I'm out here, people pulling in, and I'm out here with a dustpan and a broom, and they looking at me. Man, I started using that thing like the police did on the downtown. I was like, <laughs> I was over there, I said, yeah, it ain't no sense, I, I made my own little thing. All right? So, 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 it's work. Amen. Next one is duplicate. In other words, you make someone else a disciple. Yes, Every day produces after its own kind. Pastors produce pastors, leaders produce leaders, yes. sheep produce sheep. Yes. Every day produces out its own kind. Be willing and submissive. Okay? Isaiah 119. If you're willing and obedient, you should eat the good of the land. Last one is reward. Hebrews, Hebrews 6 and 10. But God is not unjust so as to forget your work and the labor of love which you have shown toward his name and having ministered and still ministering to the saints. Helps ministers always have a payday. You all write that down. Help ministers always have a payday. Amen? Amen. 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 That's it for me. Amen. 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 At this time, I'd like to bring up to you reason for it. You never know what's going to happen. And I remember I was in Florida, and their sound man didn't come in. Nobody in the church knew nothing about sound, and we didn't ready to have a revival. By the grace of God, a little bit I knew I was able to get it on. Back then, I couldn't record, but we had sound. Praise God. I said, yeah, thank you, Jesus. So, try to learn all that you possibly can, okay? All right, are we at the Ministry of Health? Let me get over there with you. Help. 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 All right. All right, thank you. That's great. All right. Turn two down a little bit. And the red one to your left. The red one to your right. Turn it. Bring the main volume up. Right there, there you go, keep going up. Can everybody hear me okay? All right, you're good, right there, right there, thank you. All right. So somebody tell me what they think helps are. Help. Assisting different ministry helps. All right, let, let me give you an example, okay? Let's say, for example, I asked Lisa, to help me carry this to there, okay? I had the vision of where it was going, but I needed her assistance to get it there. All right. You see what I'm saying? But in order for us to get it there, we both have to have our hands on it and going in the same direction, okay? Now, I really love uh, the way it says, uh, the word help is as all, as all, all right? which means to pass, which means to protect, guard, cover, assist, aid, benefit, support, surround, embrace, engulf, uh, and, and, and uh, you know, see, you got to understand that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father God, I thank you and I praise you as I come before you, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that I submit myself all to you, Lord God, that it be none of me and all of you. I thank you, Lord God, that you would speak to me as you will. I thank you, Lord God, for your presence and your assistance because there's no way, Lord God, I can do it on my own. I thank you, Lord God, that every year, every heart is open in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 You know, a lot of times we look at, you know, the person behind the book. But I think I shared this with you a couple of weeks ago. It's a lot more to it than just the person behind the book. The Bible says that we are workers together with God. God never called any one man to do it by himself. Hallelujah. He called people with a he gave people vision. Then he support and then he gave people to support them with that vision. Okay? And that's what ministry of health. That's what it consists of. Okay? You see, the person that cleans the restroom gets the same anointing, gets Hallelujah. the same rewards that I get for preaching the sermon. Why? It's because he helped. He was a part of it. He was a part of it. 
So it's not a, it's not about the big eyes and the little you. It's about working together as a team. As a team. Notice what it says. It says to protect, guard. That means my apostle, my apostle. I protect her. How do I protect her? Through prayer. Amen. Through prayer. As I was trained up in ministry, you always keep your eyes on the leader. Man. I don't care what I'm doing in this church. I'm always watching the why. It's because that's my job. Man. To protect. I'm not going to let nobody... If somebody come in here, they ain't going to get too close. Because I'm going to be there. Man. Why? Because it's our job to protect the leader. It's our job to guard that leader. Okay? That's what our job is. We, when you're in the health ministry, you're helping the leader with the vision, the God-given vision that God has given. What happens today, and I have to bring it right where it is, what happens today is too many people with selfish syndrome. Yeah. They don't want to pick up any paper in the trash. They don't want to do anything but get behind this pulpit and speak. That's all they want to do. But ministry is not established behind the pulpit. It's established in your heart before you come to the pulpit. You can be an Ishmael or you can be an Isaac. Yes, that's right. That choice is yours. Yeah. But every person in the body of Christ is important. Every Hallelujah. person. Hallelujah. Every person. Think about it. I mean, really think about it. You see the pastor up here preaching. Yes. But you're not thinking about the sound man that's making sure the sound is correct so you right. can have the CD. You're not thinking about the video men that's doing the video so the videos can get out. You're not thinking about the children's ministry, the women and, and, and that's watching the children in the children's ministry while you're able to have a good service. You're not thinking about the people that's meeting you, greeting you, and praying for you as you come in. These people are all important. Yes, yes. Some people may never get behind the pulpit. That's right. You know, I had a pretty much um, very anointed man of God. And this was in the 90s. He was used to train altar workers. This, this, this gentleman, he trained some of the largest ministries, art altar workers all across the country. Wow. And he, he, you never see him or knew him unless you went to one of the classes. And he said, I'm happy doing what I do. Wow. He said, I don't even want to go up there and do what I see so-and-so doing. He said, that's what his call is. Mine is to do exactly what he said. I know where my anointing is. Yes. Today they have a saying, stay in your life. <laughs> okay? You have to know this. This is very important. Don't get don't get ahead of your ministry. All right. Now let me get to that was just our introduction. Let me get to where I need to get to real quick because I'm limited on time. No, I'm not. I got more than enough, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> the work of any ministry is accomplished when an individual with an integrity of heart. Notice what I said, an integrity of heart. Allows their sinner, allows their sinner vision and concern to be moved from themselves to others. I'll say that again. When they allow their concern to be moved from themselves to others. Okay? When an individual's understanding of team ministry is complete. Team ministry. Team ministry. That's what this is about. It's about team ministry. They will know that their position on the team is second to the team effort. They'll know that. It's not important whether you call my name. It's important about who gets saved tonight. It's important about who gets healed tonight. I don't care. See, you have to, that's what will tell a lot about people in ministry. How visible you want to be. See, John said, I decrease so that he can increase. See, so... The more you grow in ministry, yeah. the more invisible yeah. you should become. Yeah. 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 Wow. Acts 6, 2-7. through This is where you first see the first, the first makings of the ministry of health. Okay? I'll give you a moment to get there, but I'll talk about it. Let me go over there with you real quick. Because I want you to understand this. Because health is very important ministry. Yeah. 
in my in, in my in, in, in my own concept, all the ministries and departments are important. But in mine, the two most important is intercessory prayer and the ministry of grace. Why? Because you can't do it without prayer. You have to have good intercessors. You can't do it without help. Um, brother blessed me yesterday. I wasn't feeling too good. And he stepped into a place of ministry of health. I wasn't here. I had to go home early. And he had to come here for something else. And then he said, do you want me to put the tables together for you? And he didn't know. He didn't really know that I was asking God, how am I going to do this the way I feel? You know, and then when I got there, it was such a blessing. Amen. See, it's things you don't know how you can bless another person just by stepping up. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. I'm trying to deal with it. Um, all right. Acts 6. Most of you are familiar with this, but this is... It talks about there were some problems with the feeding and the, uh, the, the, the distribution of the food. So right now you see that they're about to choose some men to do this. Why? It's because it frees the apostles up to do what they're supposed to do, to stay in prayer and in the Word. You see, a lot of times your leaders are so bound down with things that you should be doing wow. yeah. that they can't hardly do what God wants them to do. You know? And see, what do I mean by that? A leader, yes, he's called to do some things. Yes, he is. But his primary function is to stay in prayer and in the Word. You see what I'm saying? Because stop and think about it. Come on, let's, let's, let's use the kitchen. I'm a cook. When I'm running, picking up all the food and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So when you come, when you come and meal ain't ready, you're like, man, what, what's happening? Well, that's the same way if you come to church. If I'm running all day long, all week long, and then I come up in here and want to give you some leftovers, no, I you got the Holy Ghost just like I do. See, that's why you have to allow the man or woman of God with the vision to be freed up to move in the vision. Yes. To do what God says. Amen. Yes. Okay. The ministry of health is supported. All right? It's a support. It supports. All right? In chapter 6 here, what you see, the ministry of health, it brought, it, 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 it brought order to confusion. It brought order to confusion. It provided a control flow to meet the need. You see, this is what you have to have. The Bible says, do all things decently and in order. Come on. See, all things. That's why when we start, when we say 6 o'clock, we start at 6 o'clock, not 6 o'clock, yeah. not 6 3. Why? It's because we have made a statement that says 6 o'clock. Yeah. If I start at 6 3, 6 5, I'm a liar. Well, you see what I'm saying? This is why we need people to help. People that's going to be posted over there doing the signing. People that's going to be back making the coffee. People that's going to be doing these things. Why? It's because when you come into the house, the house is prepared for you. You see what I'm saying? It liberated the apostles to flow and to follow God. Okay? What you see here in Acts 6 was instituted by the Holy Spirit. It was instituted by him. Then the man say, "Oh, we gonna do, we don't, you know, what we gonna do? Back then, we gonna create a, a department called Hills." No, this came from the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost said, "This is what you need to do." It provided training ground for ministry because the reason a lot of ministers and churches have you work in the ministry of health first is see if you faithful. Amen. You can't come, if you can't make the meetings, you can't make the meetings for the ministry of health, you sure not gonna make the pastoral meetings. Come on. Come on. If you can't pick up the paper out there in the parking lot, you sure ain't gonna bring the pastor a glass of water when you see it. I'm right. See, so you have to prove yourself in certain places. And yes, pastors, we and leaders recognize the anointing when you're in the group. But it's the faithfulness. Oh, yeah. That you're looking at. Yes. See, because I don't care how anointed you are, I don't care how powerful you are. Come on. If you're not a faithful person, yeah. you ain't worth nothing. Yeah. Right. Because you're independent. Yeah. You're independent. Yeah. You're independent. You might be there, you might not. All right, watch. You know, putting you in, giving you something to do is like, like playing a lotto. Oh. Amen. 
ain't showing it, man. You see, this is a reality. Ministry of Health is important because it will develop you. It will also allow seasoned people to see your gifting. To see you. To see what you're doing when you're out there in hot sun. Doing evangelism work. We can see where your gifts are. We can see where your devotion is. You see what I'm saying? This, this ministry is very important. It supplies the need for the body. Because there are people, listen, See, I don't care how good you preach, how good you, you know. The first person that comes through the door, the first person they meet, is the breeder. Okay. If the breeder, if the breeder breath state, okay. I'm just gonna be true. Tell it. Tell it. If he's mean, yeah. if he's mean, oh, yeah. they ain't gonna hear nothing past he got to say. Oh, yeah. That whole time they in there, they like, whoa, did you smell that? <laughs> Well, see, this is why this is why we teach them that. I didn't understand when Pastor used to walk around. He had two pockets full of men, and he'd be giving them all to. Them. And he said, "Just hold me in your pocket and put me in your mouth." Put me in your mouth. He said, "By the time you leave service, you shouldn't have nothing in your pocket." No, 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 no. You know. But I learned later on why he was doing that because he understood that what he wanted was for the greeters to to make sure that the people were greeted correctly. When you're greeting at the door, that's just as important as preaching. Why? Because people have went all week to get the word. You don't know what kind of troubles they're carrying. And they just need somebody to say, I love you, good morning, how you doing? So the Ministry of Health is a very important ministry, people. It is a very important ministry. As I said earlier, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 14, 40, let all things, say that with me, all things, say it again, all things. And for those, those of you that may not be as, you know, be a lot smarter than me, because I was one of them kids who was on the yellow bus. Hey, 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 have a little help with you. But anyway, all means all. Nothing left out. It says all things. Let all things be done properly and in an orderly fashion. Our God is not a God of confusion. That's why your service should be ordered. Your life should be ordered. Your car should be ordered. Say, let everything, everything be done in decency and in order. Okay? When you have chaos, you have an entrance for the devil. I'm telling you now. You have, you have an entrance for the devil. Why? Because you have... When you have disorder, you're going to have disobedience. You can't, you can't, you can't. I'm telling you now. That's why when you see so many live, people's lives that are in disorder, you also see disobedience. In them. See, what I'm telling you is something that you have to discipline yourself in. This is discipline. This is discipline. The ministry of health demonstrates the love of God at work within the body of Christ. It does. It stops the voices of dissension within the Christian church. Why? Because when people are working together, there's unity. Yeah. And where there's unity, where there's unity, man, the devil gets pissed off. Yeah. Pissed off. See, you have to know that you have a call, you have a gift. And if it's in the, in, if it's in the area of health, Man, I'm telling you, I need you. Every pastor, every leader needs you. Yeah. I mean, need you. Do you know we pray for you? We fast for you. Yeah. Ooh, we got enough people that think they can preach. Yeah. Oh, my God, I just need somebody to help me carry a table. Yeah. Yeah. And all these preachers that I'm carrying the table by myself, they always talk about how to go to the table. Come on, come on, come on, people. Okay. I'm going to go through these real quick because I only got a couple more minutes. And uh, a lot of these scriptures are in your book, but if not, you can write them down. Exodus 17, 18, 13. All right, this is where Joshua was fighting a battle. And Moses was the leader. But Moses was on the heel. And he held his hands up. But now as he held his hands up, 
Joshua was getting the victory. But as his arms, you notice his arms got tired. The enemy was advancing every time he dropped his arms. So, two men, her and, uh, come on, Jessica. Her, Aaron. Aaron. Yeah, I knew what she was. Come on, brother. <laughs> See, I tell you, Pastor, don't do everything. Do a lot, but not everything. All right. So Aaron and her came up under him and lifted him up. Yes. Okay? Ministry of Health. You see that in effect. Ministry of Health. They lifted the man of God's arms up when the man of God was tired. And because of them working together with the man of God, Joshua was able to defeat the enemy. Now notice this. The men down there in the valley that was with Joshua, they didn't never see these two men up there. But God did. Yes. Man. So a lot of times you won't be seen. Right. But God will see you. Right. You'll be in the back. Don't nobody see you, but God sees you. Right. You have to understand that. You have been called. Sometimes you have been called to be invisible. Yes. Listen to what I'm saying. I'll say that again. Sometimes you've been called to be in this. I'm trying to tell y'all. And you're wondering why nobody notices you. Get your eyes off of people noticing you. And remember, God never not sees you. Another one is in the book of Esther. Esther and Mordecai. Now we hear all about Esther, but Mordecai was used to help. He was a helper. Okay? You have Luke, Luke the physician. This man left a practice. He was a, he was yeah, a pharmacist. I mean, not a pharmacist, but a, a doctor. Yeah. He left. He left his profession to do what? To go help. <coughs> you don't hear, you know what? He was there writing down stuff. See, you got to understand that health is important. Don't don't disregard that. Hallelujah. Never disregard that. Never disregard that. Stop. Work your way into what God wants you to go into. Work your way into that. Amen. 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 Glory. I have a passion for this. I have a passion for this. Amen. I have a passion for this. Amen. I have a brother of mine right now. But anyway, I'm sorry. Thanks, God. There's some things that you need to do. You need to first have the right attitude. You need to write this down. Have the right attitude. Serving anyone in the kingdom of God is serving God. Hallelujah. I don't care who it is or where you're at. Okay. Next is make an investment. Okay. Faithfulness brings promotion in ministry. You want promotion from God and not from man. Yes. And in your faithfulness, God will give you promotion. Hallelujah. Man will promote you because they want to, you know, they have an alternative motive. Hallelujah. But God promotes you because of what he sees. Alright? The other one is work. Whatever it is. He asks, it's not only 10, it says, whatever your hands find you do, yes, do it with yes, all your mind. Yes. Put your heart in it. I don't care what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, I guess the reason I have a passion for this, I have to it all from cleaning the parking lot to cleaning the bathroom. And I had, I was at one church, it was 